Good morning and happy fantastic Friday. How has your week been? Have you made some fun plans for this weekend to do a, just a family fun activity, whether it's a hike or a bike ride, a picnic with your family? It looks like it's going to be a gorgeous weekend in the South. So pick something to do with your family and get out there and get active, get some movement in. How have your uh, weekly plans gone? Today we are going to declutter and dust that china cabinet in our dining rooms. And if you don't have a china cabinet, that's okay. You can declutter anywhere you need to declutter in zone one, whether that's the front porch entryway or dining room. Do a 27 fleeing boogie. Then you can just get rid of 27 things, either 27 things to throw away, 27 things to give away. You might even find 27 things to throw away and put away. So do that today. Do five minutes in the dining room. And if your china hutch is really bad, it may take 10 or 15 minutes, but don't let it take all day. But I want you to just give it a quick dust, move stuff around a little bit in there, make it look fresh and pretty again. The china hutch is one of those dust collectors that we have in the dining room. So I just wanna encourage you, you can do it just a little bit at a time. This morning I got up and had a nice walk and a little run and then I did some swimming. So today's kind of my slower paced day in terms of exercise. I did my morning routine. I'm dressed down to my lace up shoes and it's time to do some menu planning for next week and it looks like a busy week on my calendar. So I'll have some simple menu plans and then I'll get my grocery shopping done and I'll be ready to roll. So what is the one routine that you're really having trouble getting worked into your system? Is it some of your weekly home blessings? Is it your zone cleaning? Or is it just basic routines with swish and swipe and getting dressed to the shoes? Let me know in the comments what one thing that you really are struggling with that I can write about and tell you, you know, how I've handled it and how I've worked it into my schedule. Because when I started following the fly lady 15 years ago, I had, um, let's see, 15 years ago I would have had four children and expecting number five. So I was working out my different um, schedules for the kids too for their routines and I was working on mine too. And as I worked on my routines, I worked on theirs. So when I worked on my before bed routine and worked on getting the sink shiny and laying my clothes out, I also worked with my kids on that and we built our routines together. With the weekly home blessings, during the summer, I can do them all in a day, no problem. During the school year, I need to spread them out over the week. So there's just a balance in seasons in my life where I change things around. So if you're struggling with one of them, let me know and I'll tell you how I've worked it out. We are doing our laundry this month as our habit of the month. Currently, my washer's going, so my load for the day is already going and I'll get that moved over and taken care of, no problem. We are not behind on our laundry in the house. Every day somebody gets a load of their laundry started first thing during the morning routine or a load of sheets, and then at the end of the evening we usually have a load of towels. We have worked out our process on how we do it. If you have young children or an infant, I know that you have a lot of laundry because they just seem to get dirty and need two or three outfits a day. If you have a child who's preschool age who likes to dress up and go through clothes, work on establishing rules for their dress up clothes and for their play clothes. Don't let them keep pulling clothes out all day long. Some of the cutest little pictures my grandmother would send me when she babysat my daughter was her tearing out all of her clothes from her little closet. So I know that kids like to pull out their clothes, they like to play dress up, but don't let that destroy their room or an area in your home or the playroom. Give them boundaries with that. Have a little bin that's got a lid that you keep their dress up clothes in and then keep it put away. So are there any other questions? I see I have a few people here live and I appreciate that. And I know a lot of you just watch this later on as a recording, but I want you to also take time for you today. Do one thing for you that you've been putting off because we're not really good at stopping and take care of ourselves. We just like to check off the things on our to-do list. So today I want to you to put yourself down on your to-do list and do one thing that you really enjoy that you've not done in a really long time. Have a wonderful weekend. Plan something fun tomorrow with your family and enjoy your Saturday. No cleaning and big decluttering projects on Saturday, okay? Have a great day and I will talk to you next week.